Thank you very much, uh, House Chairperson. House Chairperson, we're going to talk about minorities and majorities. We stand here today to speak about the 8.3 million South Africans, Honourable Singh, who sit at home and are unemployed through the policies of President Jacob Zuma. We speak on behalf of the millions of South Africans who saved and worked their All 50 to 40 members. years of their lives to save up for pensions, and have it now those pension savings significantly destroyed by the actions of President Zuma in December. We speak up for the millions of South Africans who don't have work because in December last year, the president of this country took a decision to fire the finance minister, replace him with a backbencher, only to change his mind 48 hours later. Our currency went through the floor. We had a 230 billion rand cutting of our economy. We speak for those South Africans who don't have a voice on this side of the house and clearly are running out of allies on this side of the house as well. I think it's grotesque, absolutely grotesque, to compare the work that we as members of parliament have done diligently to fight and stand up for the people of South Africa with the complete inaction and irresponsibility of the man who sits behind that coat of arms and should be standing up for the people of the Republic of South Africa. I think it's grotesque that on the verge of South Africa being downgraded to junk status in South Africa, that we want to give this man an increase in his salary. He wants to junk South Africa, but wants an increase from the taxpayer. We speak up for the millions of South Africans who are struggling under an economic growth rate of 0.8%. Who's speaking for them in the House today? Not the ANC, it's the Democratic Alliance. The truth of the matter is, is that within Kandla, the President of the Republic of South Africa drove over us all with a bus. In December last year, he put the bus in reverse and reversed over all of us, including his own ANC caucus. He then crashes, he then crashes the bus. He crashes the bus and comes cap in hand to the taxpayers of South Africa and says, I've done a great job, give me a raise. We say no for so far and no further. President Zuma does not deserve a cent to this increase. He has failed to perform, and we will continue to say on behalf of the millions of South Africans who suffer under the Zuma administration, you want more, we're gonna give you the door.